Hi there, my name is Nicholas. I'm a professional math tutor and today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of students struggle with and even some math teachers too and that is when should I be using a calculator and when should I not be? And the answer to that is lies in a couple things. Are you in a class with a teacher who's calculator friendly and pretty much lets you use a calculator all the time? Then you can probably use a calculator all the time. Are you preparing for a test maybe at the end of the year like the AP exam, for example, where some sections might be, or, or the ACT or the SAT, some sections might be calculator friendly, some might not be. You need to be aware of that, and you need to be aware of what types of problems are calculator friendly and not. Here's my take as an educator. I'm pretty calculator friendly. You know, these days you're going to have a calculator with you wherever you go in your phone. So I don't think there's a need to be able to do a lot of math without a calculator. However, I do have students that are so calculator dependent that they reach for their calculator for things like 7 times 5, 25 minus 2. You should be able to do that in your head or out on paper. Um, I'm usually not a huge fan of memorizing things. I don't think that's important. Um, but if you're reaching for your calculator for every single little thing like that, it's going to really slow you down. And time is precious on tests and even just homework so you can move on and do something else. So that's my advice. Make sure you know your basics. Make sure you know your multiplication tables and all that stuff. I know it's not exciting, but make sure you know your basics. That way uh, you're not reaching for your calculator for every single thing. Uh, other than that, I say, and your teacher might feel differently, and you should pay attention to them, but I say, use a calculator. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.